Got him. Good one too. So this is a GS5 right here. And uh, you know, it's, I designed this rod, golly. I designed this rod really for a tube and a shaky head. You know, so often um, those are really important parts of my arsenal. And so really any finesse bait like that, that uh, you know, that's in that range. It's 7.2, it's got a lot of backbone to it. Um, it's got an extra fast tip. And it's just a, it's a much stiffer rod in the back section than, than, the, uh, than the GS4 is. So, you know, it's designed for throwing a little bit heavier baits. Again, you know, if I'm throwing a quarter ounce or 3 16 ounce shaky head, um, you know, tubes, you know, that quarter ounce, 5 16 things like that, this is the action that I want to have. I really, I love to snap that tube uh, with a rod like this right here. I mean, this must be a good one. He is just pulling. Uh, I've got it matched up with a 300 series KVD reel and, um, you know, just eight pound braid with a with an eight pound fluorocarbon leader on an FG knot. And it just it really enhances uh, the action. But this is a this is a good all around, you know, rod for shaky heads and tubes. It's also a pretty good. I like it for fishing docks, too. I mean, if you want a long distance dock rod, it's a little longer than I prefer a 7.2 is is got a lot of, uh, you know, it's got a little more length at it, but if you're back from docks and things like that, that longer rod will really help you launch and get it in there. That's a good one there too. Solid junk. I just love fishing a, a tube for these smallmouth, but it's, you know, shaky head or anything like that, it's all really good. You can see, I've got him real good. He got a lot of backbone with this rod and uh, just a tremendous, you know, tremendous rod for me for shaky head. So it's, it's a mainstay bait for me. I always got a shaky head tied on, so this is the rod that I've got it with.